Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and another monthly news roundup together with Alex from Star Wars Explained, starting off with the gaming news of August 2019. In Battlefront 2 they had some big announcements uh, at Gamescom in August. First of all the actual update that came out in August included a new Heroes vs Villains map which is the interiors of the capital ships. Uh, the first droid skins introduced in the game remade hero star cards as well as a new spawn system that allows you to spawn on the command posts in capital capital supremacy. But they also announced what will be coming out for the rest of 2019 starting off with September which includes a big update with the clone commando as a playable reinforcement, Felucia as a new planet as well as two new ways to play. First of all instant action is making a return to the Battlefront franchise. You will now be able to play the ground phase of capital supremacy offline with bots and the bots will include vehicles, heroes and normal troopers. So it's a big upgrade from the current arcade system. On top of that, you're also introducing four-man co-op, which is similar to instant action, but you can play with three friends on all the Clone Wars planets to defend or attack objectives. And beyond that, they confirmed that there will be Rise of Skywalker content coming out later this year, including a new planet. Uh, but they have no further details than that, since obviously everything is a bit secretive around episode 9. And there will also be reinforcement skins coming later this year as well. And in an interview, Dennis Branval, the design director, said that there are no current plans to make a Battlefront 3, and they have all their focus on Battlefront 2. As for Star Wars The Old Republic, they confirmed that the Onslaught expansion will be coming out on October 22nd. And in Galaxy of Heroes, there hasn't been a lot of new content, but they did some kit reworks on Echo, Fives and Rex. But that's all for the gaming news, now over to Alex for some movie canon and lore news. Thanks, Elliot. Last month was huge for Star Wars news, and specifically teasers and trailers. At D23, we got to see more footage from The Rise of Skywalker, including images of Rey and Kylo Ren battling on the wreckage of what I assume is the Death Star, a massive fleet of Imperial Star Destroyers, and Rey with a red double-bladed lightsaber. A new poster was also revealed featuring Palpatine, Rey, and Kylo. It's very reminiscent of the old Revenge of the Jedi poster. The Mandalorian also released its first trailer for the series to universal excitement as far as I could tell. It also got a new poster and the news that Ming-Na Wen is part of the cast. She's most known for her role in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. On top of all that, Entertainment Weekly has been running articles on the series alongside new images of the main character battling Trandoshans, fighting alongside Gina Carano's character, and more. Maybe the biggest announcement of the month was finally getting confirmation that a Kenobi series for Disney Plus is coming with Ewan McGregor returning to play the character. The scripts are already written and the show will go into production next year, I'm guessing for a 2021 release. And Star Wars Resistance put out a trailer for its second season and announced that it would be the final for the show. I'm disappointed by that news because I think the show really hit its stride by the end of its first very strong season. But that's it from me, so now back to Elliot. Thank you, Alex. That brings this video to an end. Make sure to check out Alex's channel in the description below for all things Star Wars. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.